Everybody. David, aka RV Jedi, aka Car V Jedi. First and foremost, I hope you're having a happy and safe holiday season. Uh, it is time to look back at 2023 when it comes to food on the road for me. I love to chef it up when I'm out and about. My motto is a simple one. There is no need to eat poorly on the road. And this past year, I didn't. So without further ado, I'm going to show you my top five meals on the road for 2023. We're going to go in reverse order. So starting at number five, I got a little exotic on this one and that's octopus. Yeah, it tastes great and it's easier to do than you think. Once it was defrosted, I cleaned it out. And then I boiled some salted water and dipped the octopus in it and then cooked it for about 25 minutes. Pre-prepping the octopus is definitely the key for this. I talk about it all the time, getting your mise en place ready before you come out on the road. In addition to prepping the octopus, I chopped up my vegetables, cleaned off everything, so that when I got here, all I really have to do is cook and make the glaze. Next, I'm gonna add the octopus. salt and pepper and a little garlic powder uh, into one pan. And in the other pan, I'm gonna add a little bit more butter and start getting that ready for the vegetables. All right, time to get those vegetables in. I'm using a little baby bok choy, some zucchini, some mushrooms. I'm gonna get it into the pan with that butter. Add in a little soy sauce with that. And then I'm going to add in some minced garlic. And while I'm at it, might as well throw a little into the octopus as well. I'm going to finish off the vegetables with a little mirin. I'm going to stir that up and then I'm going to cover it. And because I don't have a cover for this particular pan, I'm just using some tin foil. Everything is now done cooking. Time to plate it up and see how this meal turned out. Voila, there you have it. Miso glazed octopus with some vegetables grilled in my cast iron skillet. Let's taste it. Mm. The vegetables are perfect. The octopus is tender. and it tastes great. At number four on the list, it is a cheeseburger skillet. Now I did this with my Jet Boil Mini Mo when I was out boondocking for the very first time and it turned out great. We're gonna do something fun. We are going to do a bacon cheeseburger scramble no egg involved on this one, uh, and have that for dinner. So this is an easy meal. I think you can do it on the road. Let's get it started before the rain comes down hard. Mm -hmm. 
So into the pan, I'm gonna add in my hamburger meat. We're gonna get that in there, start browning that up. Just gonna add a little garlic powder and some salt and pepper. So the next thing that's gonna go in the pan are these, uh, some par cooked um, crack fries. So what I did was I took some potatoes, I sliced them up, added a little of olive oil and some Old Bay, put them in the air fryer for a little bit. Uh, didn't cook them all the way through because we're gonna finish them off here. So you're gonna have a cheeseburger skillet, you gotta have fries with it. So we'll add these, and then we're gonna add a little onions to it. Mm, grilled onions. On a cheeseburger, you know you gotta love it. It's time to plate everything up and eat. And there you have it, voila. We've got a bacon cheeseburger scrambled with some crack fries. Uh, I've got some Kona light beer, uh, some Snapple mango madness, uh, and I'm not using a bun, but I am using a tortilla to have with it. So let's check it out. Absolutely delicious. This is one of the easiest meals you can do on the road. It's got French fries, it's got a hamburger, it's got cheese, it's got a little bit of everything. And you know what? You could throw anything you want into your cheeseburger scramble and have it taste delicious. Number three on the list, despite the airplanes flying above, ah, uh, buddy, it was steak pizziola. I absolutely love this dish, one pan, and <clears throat> it fills you up. So it's been a great day at the park. I was out on a nice long hike. Uh, I've been able to just kind of relax and unwind, but it is now time to start thinking about dinner and I am getting hungry. So tonight we're gonna do something fancy, something fun and something easy. It's steak pizziola. Come on, let's do this. for a good sear on both sides of this steak and then once it's cooked we'll take it off because we're going to finish it in the pan with some um, tomato sauce and some other herbs and spices. So the steak is out of the pan it is now time to add in the vegetables we've got some uh, red peppers and some onions. We're also gonna throw in some mushroom in here too. And we wanna just uh, cook that down until they're soft. And then we're gonna add some diced tomatoes in there. We'll then add in some minced garlic, a little dry basil, and some oregano. We'll also salt and pepper just a little bit. And then I have some chopped fresh basil that we'll throw in there as well. We'll save some also for the end. We'll cover that up and let that cook for a while. There you have it. It's uh, steak pizziola. It looks ab fab. I have some Cycles Gladiator Pinot Noir. I used that when I was cooking. Uh, some Sole uh, Blonde Orange uh, water as well. Let's dig into this.
This is fantastic. Again, it's easy to do. At number two on the list, this may have been one of my favorite meals to do all year long. I teamed up with a local company called 1111 Sauce and made a specific meal designed with their sauce in mind, and that was my Blazing Citrus Chicken. So here's the twist when it comes to tonight's Blazing Citrus Chicken and Rice. Uh, it is actually a recipe that I designed based on the sauce that I'm using. Okay, so what makes this dish special is because I'm using a locally sourced hot sauce as the base of it. A couple of weeks ago, I was at the Fremont Market uh, and a great market if you ever get a chance to do it. It's outside, lots of different vendors. And I ran into a guy named Tyler. Uh, I think it was 1111 Sauce uh, is his company. And he had a very unique sauce that I sampled and just thought it was great. So tell me a little bit about your sauce. What's going on here? So this is a uh, vinegar-free grapefruit-based hot sauce. And we decided to do um, no vinegar because 99% of hot sauces have vinegar. So just want to do something different, want to stand out. And it still adds the sweetness, uh, adds the tangy that you're looking for, but it comes in with the bowl kick, so. Okay, would you recommend using it on anything in particular? Um, I mean, use it exactly how you'd use a regular hot sauce, you know. Uh, I think it enhances the food more than uh, adds the heat, but it definitely comes with the heat, so. So I told Tyler I would make a recipe based on his sauce, and this is it. Again, blazing citrus chicken. Now again, I did a lot of mise en place at home before I hit the road. That is the key to how I like to chef it up when I car camp. Uh, overnight, I used some of the blazing sauce uh, with some chicken and some cilantro, uh, some garlic and just a little salt and pepper. I'm marinating that overnight. Now it is time to get it into the pan. The vegetables are a little soft and translucent now. I want to cook the chicken uh, for a little bit, not all the way through because we're gonna cook it with the rice a little bit later. So right now let's get the chicken into the pan and start cooking that down. Now into the pan, we're gonna add a little bit of rosemary. I like to mix it around into the water or the stock so it adds some flavor. And then we're gonna put our citrus back in, cover everything and then just let it cook. We want all of that uh, stock to evaporate into the rice, to have that rice soak it all up. The chicken is cooking. We've got everything going right now. It is now just wait time, uh, which is so hard when you're hungry. And voila, there you have it. Blazing citrus chicken and rice. It looks absolutely delicious. I've got a salad, uh, I've got a Kona light beer, uh, and then I've got a Sole grapefruit um, uh, water, which matches perfectly with this hot blazing sauce from 1111 Sauce. Shout out to Tyler. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm, absolutely delicious. And finally, topping my list for great meals in 2023, I'm going old school Italian with chicken scallopini. Oh, oh, I wish I had some right now. Let's face it, I am hungry. It's getting to that time of the night. And tonight we're gonna do something special. We're gonna chef it up with something that I think you can do on the road and will provide you with a meal that will feel like you're a king or queen. Yes, I'm doing chicken scallopini, a version of it with a cream and mushroom sauce that I think will be ab fab and something you're gonna wanna do next time you're out and about. So let's get started. Okay, so this version of chicken scallopini is really easy to do. Again, it starts at home with your mise en place.
with the mushrooms, I'm now gonna add in a little bit of butter and some leeks. We wanna get those nice and toasty and brown before we start adding in our garlic and our onion. It is time to finish off the chicken. We're gonna take it off the flame, uh, put it onto a plate, uh, pour that sauce all over it. We'll finish it with a little basil also from my garden. And voila, there you have it. Chicken scallopini in a mushroom and cream sauce with uh, green beans. I have some wine. It is Sutter Home Chardonnay. It's the same wine I cooked with. Remember, never cook with wine that you don't want to drink. Uh, and I like this, so that's why I have it. I also have some Soleil uh, ginger mule. Uh, it's flavored water. But let's check out this chicken. Mmm. Green bean. That is fantastic. The nice part about this again, you do all your mise en place at home and then it only takes you about 15-20 minutes to put a dinner like this together. This is fantastic. I think I'm gonna do this at home as well. So there you have it, my top five meals on the road for 2023. I had such a blast being out and about and chefing it up. And if you wanna see the full videos or see any of the other meals that I've cooked uh, RVing or car camping, make sure you check out the chefing it up section right here on the channel. Uh, I think you'll enjoy some of the meals that I've made over the years. Hey, that's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then, of course, you can always follow me on my website at RVJedi.com. Get out there. Enjoy yourself. Make sure you take care of yourself with food when you're out there and about. It'll make the uh, traveling experience that much better. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Have a great holiday. We'll see you next time.